I got myself a new phone, so I wanted to check the quality of it and also kind of make a little, not really a tutorial because I don't know crap about <laughs> much, but um, just things to kind of get your dog used to in order to make your life easier, his life less stressful, the vet's life, you know, a lot easier when you go for vet visits, if you ever have to take him to the groomer, if ever there's an emergency situation, um, you want him to be used to being handled and touched everywhere without freaking out. Um, the thing with the hound mix like he is, Oh, I don't know what's going on with his ear right now, but uh, you know, the ears that are down, you definitely have to keep an eye on and clean them and check them on a very uh, frequent basis because the air doesn't circulate, a lot of things accumulate in there, uh, they're more prone to infection because of that. So you just want them to get used to, see I've just got like a little Kleenex here and I just like, oh, my cat is playing with the toy. So, you know, just get him used to having you get in there. And I'm not being rough. I'm not hurting him. He's not stressing out or anything like that. You know, you just want him to be used to that. Um, you want to be sure that you're able to get in there. See how nice his teeth are. Yeah. So I brush his teeth on a regular basis, maybe a couple times a week or so, um, which will save you so much money in the future. Uh, vet costs for dental care is just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, you want him to be able to have that done without trying to bite or freak out. His nails, uh, they're due for a little trim. I cut them on a weekly basis. Uh, so you want to get them used to having their paws handled like this and you pushing out the nail. Uh, so I cut them probably more frequently than I should, but they're black. So uh, it's a little more tricky and I just don't want the vein to grow along with the nail. So I, I just give him a quick little trim, like I said, probably on a weekly basis. It gets him very used to having his paws handled. Uh, he doesn't stress out. He doesn't freak out. Uh, the grooming stuff, uh, you want to be able to touch him, like I said, everywhere. So you get him used to having his back paws touched and his tail tugged on in case a kid ever comes by and decides to tug the tail uh it's you know just just general kind of everywhere kind of snuggling so uh he doesn't have any um sensitive spots or issues or anything like that in the future that he'll you know freak out if uh, like i said like especially if a kid comes up to him and just like grabs his ear or his paw or tries to look in his mouth or pokes his nose like, you just want him to be pretty laid back about that. He's had a couple of scars uh, from the dog park. He has one on his forehead here, right there. So, you know, you want to be able to clean that with peroxide. Um, and I've put, like, polysporin on it, so it's healing very nicely. It's kind of a little puncture wound there. So you want to be able to do that. You want to be able to put eye drops in their eyes. Um... Just all those kinds of things. And it's just, you take it slow. Um, I got him, you know, when he was five and a half months. So I would normally have started this when he was eight weeks, when if I would have gotten him at that age. But it's never too late to slowly get them used to all of that. So I'm doing that with this kitten here. I've had to clean his ears there. I'm, I'm still actually working on it. Like I said, I've, I've had him for two days. His ears were just, uh, I'll just say bad. They were really, really dirty. Um, so it's still, they're still not perfect. I have an appointment at the vet's with him on Monday. So we'll make sure there's nothing wrong. He just, sorry, he's <laughs> everywhere. So he just kind of scratched it right here. Uh, so I put a little bit of polysporin on there. He had a little bump and I guess he scratched too hard. So I'm getting him used to, you know, having his, his ears handled and able to look in his mouth. I just noticed that he has loose teeth. So if I notice that he's chewing or being you know, kind of bitchy or whatever is because he's pretty sore. A lot of his molars are really loose. Um, so I want to be able to check in his mouth 
and have his, you know, handle his paws and all that stuff. He's really close to me, so I can't really focus on him. Um, and, you know, get him used to being groomed and touched and same thing as a dog. Uh, I find a lot more important with the dog, but definitely important with the cat too. So yeah, I guess that's my quick little, I don't know, spule of the day. Uh, I, I cut my cat's nails probably every month or so, sometimes every three weeks. It depends. Uh, I can clean their ears. I can put eye drops, ear drops. I can pill them easily, and that's another thing with the dog, right? You want to, you want to be able to pill him without uh, always having to have a bunch of cheese or buy those expensive pill treats. So, anyhow, that's my little uh, thing for now. Hopefully, it helps somebody out there. Um, it's really all simple. You just kind of take it slowly. Um, 